just got a new luggage from Muji, so it's time to go shopping. The last few weeks that we've been in Tokyo, I really haven't been buying much just because we're very tight on space. But since we got a new suitcase, I thought I could let loose a little and do some shopping. On my shopping list so far, not limited to these items or whatever, is a matcha mixing bowl. I like to get some wooden utensils or bowls because the wood here is so nice. Um, some vintage tees or sweatshirts at the used clothing stores. A funky windbreaker would be cool, you know, with a Home Depot logo or something on it. A vintage bag that's a little more oversized as opposed to the mini ones we've been seeing as of late. Yeah, so that's on my shopping list. We're gonna go out now and get some lunch and head over to the Shimo Kitozawa area. Let's go! We have so many of these military jacket puffers that are really trendy right now. All YSL stuff. Shopping in Japan is another level. Yeah, look at that. Looks like the Salvation Army. This is the jacket of my dreams. 2000. cardigan is adorable.
If you're not really into thrifting and vintage stores in Canada or the States, I highly recommend you to check out the ones in Japan just because they clean everything, press everything, and every item is sorted by category from brand to color and styles. Styles, yeah. Even Victor, who doesn't like thrifting in Canada, is really into it here, aren't you? I got this <laughs> and other stuff too. And he hasn't cleaned it at all. Fun it facts. Right away. It wore right away. This is the white version, which is nice too, more so. This is a belt with denim. 
If you saw my reel, you would know there is a Uniqlo flower shop as well as coffee shop at the flagship stores in Ginza. So we saw a girl wear this jacket in Shinjuku. We stopped her to ask her where she got it from. She told us it's goo. It's a two-way jacket. You can take the sleeves off and make it into a vest as well. And it's got that military-inspired wavy pattern all over it. Vic, I got it in large and extra large.
<laughs> she was trying to find her for a long time. Yeah, yeah, I should look for the Prada ones then. Is adorable. Guys, I'm hyping myself up, but we actually might be getting a light I've been on the hunt for for the past two years. Long story short, we met a local Japanese girl at a coffee shop, and she told us, if you need any favors in Tokyo, let me know. And I hit her up, and now we're gonna get this light, hopefully. Don't wanna hype it up too much. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> See you inside. If we don't get it today, I'm not putting this in the vlog. Yo, they have these two. But I want the one without the color. Yeah. Okay, thank you. It looks like they only have the colored one on display, so hopefully I got the one without the color. We shall see. So, may I ask your name? Uh, yes. Victor yeah. Had Starbucks in ages, but this is the caramel macchiato meal soy drink. More like a milkshake. things that make me happy. A coach pop-up store that looks like 7-Eleven. This is way too cute. So adorable. Oh, mami no. Yeah. Oh, ladies coffee. Yeah. Why not?
ってるんですよ。あ、そう、ミニやミニ。ミニハミニミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。ミニハミニハツ。Caramel chocolate. We don't have that, and we don't have this chestnut. We are heading to one of my favorite vintage slash thrift shops here called Chicago in Omoto Santo. This one at Lowry's Farm, but it's brown, so hard to match. This is the large size, the medium size, but they sold out of the black and the medium. Hey guys, we are now back in Hong Kong and I was going to do a little unboxing to show you what I got in Japan. Currently, it is really great to shop in Japan because the US dollar is so high and the Hong Kong dollar is tied to the USD. Also, as a tourist, you can get up to 10% tax back if you spend more than 5,000 yen. All you have to do is bring your passport to the counter and if they do tax back, they'll automatically deduct it at the cashier. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. And I'm gonna start off first with the gifts that I bought for friends. My friend Laura requested this for me at the airport. So I picked this up after we went through security. It is the Pokemon Tokyo Banana. I think they're some kind of cake. Originally, it was sold out when I got there because the queues were super long, but they finally restocked right before we hopped on a plane to Hong Kong. So I was able to get her a pack. And if you've ever been to Japan Starbucks, you know they're on another level. They have their own collection of tumblers and accessories. So I also got this for Laura. It is a beige tumbler from their winter Sakura collection. 
I purchased this Miffy from the Kyoto store. If you saw our previous vlog at the Miffy snack shop, I just thought it was super cute. By the way, I will pop up the prices on screen so that you'll know how much every item was if I got tax back. And you can't go to Kyoto without buying some tea. So I got some things for my friends and myself. First up is a set of tea cubes from the brand Jion Sujiri. Each cube comes with two tea bags per cube. So it makes it very fun and easy to mix and match and be able to try different flavored teas without the commitment of a large bin. Next up, I got a couple of thermoses by Sujiri and Paketel. I just thought it was very cute and a mini practical thing to bring along with you on your travels. You just pop into your bag. I like this cream color and the graphic design on it. Next up from Beams Japan, we got a few Secret Santa gifts. So I hope my friends are not watching this at all. First up is this traditional paper calendar where you tear off each day. I got this because I just thought it was a nice addition for someone's house. Next up is a beer bottle opener and a fried egg keychain. We just thought they were also super funny, cute, and a lighthearted Christmas gift. Next up from Kyoto, a couple of snacks. These are matcha biscuits sandwiched with white chocolate. Moving on to things I bought myself. First up, we have a pair of sambas that I've been on the hunt for. This is the vegan pear in black and gumdrop. Took me a long time to find, but they finally restocked the classic color version, so I ended up opting for this pair. It's a pair of Converse Light Soul sneakers. We love buying Converse in Japan because they have a lot of exclusive designs you can only get there. This one is waterproof and it's very light, and I love wearing this with dresses. I had a pair, wore them for three years, had to throw them out, so I just got myself a new one in Tokyo. And to go with my new sneakers, I bought a bunch of socks because there are so many varieties and designs there. I got these two from Daiso and they're the scrunchy tight, which I think will go really well with the Sambas. And then from Atmos, I bought these Fruit of the Loom ones because I just love the logo embroidered at the top. And from Three Coins, which is their version of the dollar store, I picked up these two hair claws. One is this rubber version and one is this metal gold one. This one's really hard to open, but I love using this white one. Also from Three Coins, I got this linen feel laptop case for my 13 inch MacBook, but actually it is too big. I think it fits the 15, but it's gonna do for now when we travel. And of course, coffee in Japan is next level, so we had to pick up some beans for our home cafe. The first one is from Fuglin. When we went there the first day, we tried their latte, we really liked it, and we got this bag. This is already open because we couldn't wait to try it. The second bag of coffee beans is from Coffee Mameya. We went to their coffee shop, love the coffee, and so we also bought a second bag. This is a small and silly souvenir from Muji. It's basically an acrylic wire organizer, but it can also act as your iPhone stand. Next up is one of my bigger purchases, which is this vlog camera that I'm using now. I'll link it below, is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III version in silver. I had the hardest time looking for the silver version. The black one was always available, but I love how the silver one has this very vintage vibe to it. I got it at Big Camera on one random day and we saved 15% off on the retail price. I can't go to Tokyo without buying some homeware. So the first item I purchased was from the brand called Today Special, a lifestyle and home shop. I purchased these two wooden bowls and I just love how Japanese wood feels. These are miso soup slash rice bowls and I just love that matte velvet finish on these bowls. Next up is from a small souvenir shop in Kyoto. I was trying to look for a matcha mixing bowl, I couldn't find it. So then I ended up getting a simple bamboo matcha scoop. And it just looks like this. This is probably my most favorite item from this whole haul. I got this Isamu Noguchi lamp. I was looking for it at our tech and MoMA. They both sold out until Victor met this girl. She helped us go and talk to MoMA to get this lamp. They ordered it and basically got it for me a few days later after we came back from Fuji. The reason why I bought this lamp in Japan is because the price is so good. Before tax back, it was 19,820. So it's about a thousand HKD. I'm not gonna unbox the actual lamp just yet, but you can see what it looks like here in the packaging. 
Next up is this lip gloss that I got from a drugstore. The brand is Peripera. I have been debating about buying lip gloss just because in Hong Kong, you still have to wear masks outside. So I feel like it's kind of pointless, but it does build on in color and is quite sheer. As for clothes, you know Japan is freaking amazing when it comes to vintage shopping. The first item that I got is this vintage Harley Davidson motorcycle long sleeve top. I've been looking for a long sleeve top as opposed to a sweatshirt just because you just don't get a lot of cost per wear in Hong Kong because it's so hot here. And I just like how it's very simple. It's got that nice checker pattern and the stripes running down the sleeves. From this vintage store in Kyoto, I bought a couple of vintage rings. When vintage shopping in Japan, make sure to ask if those items are actual vintage because some places sell old and new stuff. So the items I got were these vintage rings. One is a gold heart with a little blue stone and the other one is, a, I guess, like a signet style ring with a little, little diamond. I probably won't be able to wear this item in Hong Kong much, but I got this mohair style white scarf. A lot of girls in Japan do use a white scarf as an accessory and I got one because I was freaking cold. I've also been looking for a crossbody casual bag. I couldn't find any cool vintage luxury bags, so I ended up getting this one from Lumine or Lumine East. This one is a very simple nylon black bag with a crossbody strap, and I like how this buckle can help you adjust the length of the strap. It's a very casual bag from a brand called Bag and Noun. Next up are my racer jackets. The one here on the right is from the brand called Sloppy. It's just a fast fashion brand that I found in Lumine East and I like how it's very thin. It's not real leather, but I just like the style of it and it's very light for Hong Kong winters. There's also a S embroider patch and I thought it was kind of cute because my name is Sam. So it looks like I got it customized or something. I have been obsessed with those leather racer jackets that you've been seeing all over Pinterest, but I can't justify the price of purchasing one because I won't be able to get that much wear of it here in Hong Kong. But I did find this one at a vintage store in Shimokitazawa, and I just love how this looks. I like how it's got the Home Depot logo on the front and you have you know, a lot of these racer details on the front and on the back. I did try a few leather versions, which I'll pop up on screen, which I really liked, but those were all over a thousand Hong Kong dollars. And this one came out to be 450 only. Lastly, I got this little accessory from Diesel. I feel like this brand has been coming back the past year. I was eyeballing some t-shirts online, but unfortunately they sold out in store. So I ended up getting the very Pinteresty Diesel belt. I've seen a lot of the black ones online, but then this is my first time seeing it in white, and I just like this little buckle detail on the front. 